What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I am going to be doing a completely new base routine. I don't even know what it's called. Is it a base routine? I feel like, I don't know. I've been seeing this base routine going around. I've seen it on, I think Jackie's did a video. I saw it on Tati where JLo's makeup artist came and did her makeup. I don't usually like to switch up my routine pretty much almost ever. I kind of just like stick to what I know, but I feel like there's been one time that I have switched up a major step in my routine and that was doing brows before foundation. I used to do brows before foundation and now I do brows after laying down my base routine and that was, um, it made several points made several points. So now I'm like, okay, let's give it a try. Let's see what's different. So I'm gonna be doing contour, concealer. Ooh, even just saying it is already like freaking me out a little bit because it's completely new territory for me. I usually go in with foundation first. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump us straight into this video. Today's video is also in sponsorship with Makeup Forever. Makeup Forever has been such a long time supporter of this channel, just a long time supporter of me in general. Like when I first started out in this industry, one of the first brands that reached out to me and had a genuine interest in like, not only like working with me, but also taking my feedback seriously was Makeup Forever. So every time they sponsor, it always has like a little special place in my heart. So today's video is gonna be in collaboration with them and their new Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Lip Brush Inspired Lipsticks. So I'm gonna be showing you guys a few of these a little bit later. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm, Makeup Forever will always have a special place in my heart because they continuously always come back and support your girl and support this platform. So we're gonna be jumping straight in. I'm a little nervous. All right. Oh, we are really close. Let's bring this down, bring this down. So if you guys noticed, I am in a new location, hence the wider shot. It's a very wide shot. I am in a new location. Um, I am in a new office. I am super, super excited about my office. I did not, I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. I should have done this sooner. This is my first video actually in my new office and I'm so happy to be here. I don't know why it took me so long to even like entertain the idea of an office. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have done this forever ago. I am one of those people that I truly need a separation between work and home. Also, I don't like being in confined spaces. I don't like being like in small places. I feel like I can't breathe, I can't move around. Like it's just too compact. And if you have been following me for a very long time, if you were a day one supporter, you guys probably know that my first initial setup was actually in my dining room <laughs> of my very, very 800 square foot apartment with Anthony, it was in my dining room and it was just right there, there's a little mini corner and that's where I started. Okay, so I think this technique calls for contouring first. Yes, yes. I don't have a, sp I'm in shambles, hold on. I don't have a sponge. All right, we are back. Sponge is ready, okay. Let's do this. I think you're supposed to highlight underneath your foundation, which I'm a fan of, I like it. I do it every now and then when I remember, sometimes I forget. This is the Eloise, ooh, calm down girl. This is the Eloise Champagne Glow. This is their Get Glowed Illuminating Drops. I'm gonna go ahead and just, ooh, hold up. Okay, good thing this is underneath because she is beaming. Holy crap. Or I put too much. Eloise is also a black owned business. I can't remember what country I came from. I am, wanna say, wow. This is bright, bright. I think I used too much though. I wanna say it's from, the UK. I want to say that. It smells really yummy. I'm... <sighs> okay, I do want this to show up underneath my foundation. So maybe I'm just like... 
I should be okay with how this is looking right now. Cause I do want to show up underneath my foundation. I mean, she looks like she's gonna show up, but I'm afraid she might show up too much. And we don't want her to crash the party. We don't want her to wear a wedding dress. She's not even the bride. Come on now, she's a plus one. I have hope, I have faith that we will get some something good out of this. So let's go in with contour. This is the Fenty Matchstick in Caviar. doesn't really show up on my forehead. You can barely see it on my forehead, but everywhere else you can see it. That's just because I have different shades all over my face. Let's hide the dog chin, cause she's not invited either. So now we're gonna go ahead and blend the contour. New techniques are very interesting. So we're just gonna blend the contour out. I mean, the contour blending is kind of helping tone down this highlighter, so that's good, right? Apparently this technique also is supposed to have you use less foundation and less products on your face, because I guess when you go in with foundation all over your face, then you go in on top of that with concealer, so this is supposed to be a technique that like kind of makes you use less products. So that's kind of blended-ish. Let's go ahead and color correct underneath my eyes and around my mouth area. I'm gonna use the NYX, not NYX, I'm using the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. This is also a pretty matte concealer. So, we'll see. I feel like I don't see the vision yet. <laughs> I'm gonna need some things to come together real quick. I think now we're supposed to go in with concealer. I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Self Setting Concealer. When do you do blush? I'm assuming after concealer or before foundation or after foundation. Let me know if you guys have already tried this technique. It might take from getting used to, but we'll see. I don't know. The shade of the concealer that I just used was the number 54. So I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> I feel like every time I go to another step, I look even more and more confused. I'm gonna go ahead and start to blend this out. I feel like I'm not supposed to look fully blended yet until until I go in with foundation. So maybe that's why I feel a little uneasy about everything. I've just never not used foundation all over my face as an initial base routine step, so we'll see. Okay, forehead looks pretty. Pretty good right there. Okay, we are lo not losing, but we are covering the craziness that was that highlighter. So that's not bad. That's a good thing, right? I almost feel like I still don't have anything on my face. So I'm wondering if this is one of the benefits of not going in with foundation first. Sure, we'll see. Someone's gonna have to give here soon. This is really terrifying me. I mean, I'm gonna try and stay hopeful, but this is terrifying me. I'm gonna use the Pure Love Your Selfie Foundation. I have it here in the shade DPP6. This is one of the closest match foundations to my face. It's just a really good match, overall good match. Like I feel like it bounces out me out really well. It's not too yellow, it's not too red. It's like that perfect in-between shade and I'm hoping it'll do what I need it to do to fix this right now. So let's see. I don't know if I even should just like, I feel like I should 
put it on something first. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and then go in with my foundation brush. Um, I did like three swatches on the back of my hand. Usually I have to go in a lot more, so I'm hoping we see some good things out of this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, that might be too much. I think I went in with too much. So, cause I don't, what I don't wanna do is get rid of everything, but I feel like, am I gonna, I'm trying to put it everywhere that I don't have foundation, cause that's the point. Ooh, the highlight though. Okay, okay, this might be making points. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm trying to put it everywhere. There's, a harsh line. I feel like I have too much foundation on my brush. So maybe this is what people were talking about. Cause I feel like I need to like wipe off my foundation brush right now. So I'm just gonna wipe it off on my paper towel right here. Highlight is popping, coming through beautifully right there. But I do feel like, if anything, it's erasing my concealer. See the contour still popping, so that's good. The highlight's really showing through beautifully. If this is all the foundation I have to use, I definitely use a lot less foundation, for sure. Let's see. If I just take my sponge and go. Hold up. I mean, I feel like this is definitely one of those techniques you definitely have to kind of like perfect, but I'm truly not mad at it. If you use the technique that I am used to, which is foundation first, this is pretty much telling me that you're gonna look crazy until you don't. I thought when I went in with foundation, it was gonna move everything around. Now, I don't know if it's the brush that I used. Okay, this kind of made points. Hold on, I might be considering. I definitely use a lot less foundation. I feel like I use the same-ish amount of concealer, same-ish amount of contour. It didn't make me use more of anything. Let's go in with a little bit of uh, liquid blush. This is the Love Blush from Rare Beauty. All right, guys, so. I had to change out of my robe because I was getting a little hot. So I did my brows, um, got some powder laid down, but right now I'm gonna try and decide what lip I'm gonna do first because I started trying to play with my eyes. I put a little bronzer in my crease, that's about it. And then I was like, wait, I have to pick out a lip color because I feel like all the lip colors that they sent me, most of them are pretty bold, which I'm not mad at. Um, look how cute this PR package is though, like so cute. I think I wanted to go with a bold lip today, so that's why I was like, okay, I gotta figure out what lip I'm doing first, because I like to choose which one I'm gonna go bold on. If I'm gonna go bold on eyes, I'm gonna be chill on lips. If I'm gonna go bold on lips, I'm gonna be chill on eyes, so I'm gonna try and figure that out. But I did go ahead and do a whole bunch of swatches of all the shades that I got. These are the Rouge Artist Intense Color Lipsticks Focus on me. Kind of told you guys about these a little bit in the beginning of the video. Um, I did go ahead and do swatches of the shades that I got sent. There are 60 shades in this lipstick collection that just launched, which I was just like, holy crap. There are some in there that I was like, oh, I wish I would have gotten that. So I am going to be heading to Sephora because there was a smoky brown shade in there. And you guys know how much I love my nudes. And it's supposed to give you like a nice velvet finish. Super pigmented. These are just a few swipes, like I said, on the back of my hand here. It's going to give you 24 hour hydration, which is nice. And it's got that nice satin finish. So look at that shade. That is the shade I am going to go. It's coming off more red on camera because of the glare, but I cannot wait to go get that shade. Oh, it looks so good. So I'm gonna have to go pick up that shade. But today, like I said, we have more bold colors. I mean, we have some peachy, pinkies one, pinky ones right here, right? Um, but I think I'm gonna go more like, 
her because of the outfit that I'm wearing today. So I'm gonna keep my eyes very simple. I think that shade was, well, what's that shade? It was Mighty Maroon. And you guys see how this is shaped? It's supposed, to, this was actually inspired by like an artist brush, like a lip brush. So you just literally like, poop, like it fits into your hand like a brush. It gives you really nice precision. So I'm going to go ahead and do something really simple with my eyes because like I said, I'm gonna go more bold on the lips. Alrighty guys. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lipstick. Yes. I love, yes, this looks so good. <gasps> Am I scrunchy? Okay, fall, fall. This is exactly the look I was going for, fall. So that's pretty much it for our video today, guys. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you again to Makeup Forever for sponsoring today's video. I'm honestly so surprised that this base came out the way that it did because I was real nervous. I'm not gonna lie, I was real nervous. You guys saw how it looked in the beginning, but I do think that is this is a new technique that I am gonna keep trying. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you for Make It Forever. Everything will be in the link down below, especially the lipsticks from Make It Forever. I'm gonna go ahead and link those down below. First thing when you click on the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of love, and I will see you guys next time.